Hello, good morning, everybody. Hello, and good morning to you. Welcome to the Sunrise Yoga Project. I'm Lara. My name is Kevin. This is a very special edition of Sunrise Yoga. Uh, if you were present with us on last week, you would know that we have moved on from the room that started it all. And here we are at my parents' house in beautiful Cleveland, British Columbia. Yeah, so we'll be here for a little while and also doing sessions from uh, Montreal soon as well. So just quickly as a recap and for uh, the new people here with us, this initiative is all about having a gentle way to come into your day through yoga and meditation so that we can feel good and have a great day. So we'll get started with a short seated meditation to just ground down and get present. And then we'll move through some gentle and awakening yoga postures. Beautiful. Let's do it. All right. Thanks, Tara. Cool. So everybody find a nice, comfortable, seated position. Lara and I are sitting on a block. Oh, I can feel my body after the move yesterday. That's good. If you can feel any stiffness in your body, really enjoy and nurture it. So find a comfortable seated position. You can also lie on your back if you'd like, lean up against a wall, find your easy chair. We'll all close our eyes. We'll tune into our breath. Beautiful breath of life. Simple, steady inhales, simple, steady exhales. Reminding ourselves that in this moment, breath is all we need. As you enjoy drinking in this breath, begin to scan your body with your mind's eye. Begin to trace the outline of the top of your head, your mind's eye. Visualizing every little feature about you. Shape of your head ears, seeing your eyes and your nose, using your mind's eye to visualize your lips and your chin. When you create this picture of yourself, send love and gratitude for who you are, for your being, for the gift that you are to the world. Continue this soft breath and visualization of yourself as you see your neck and your shoulders. Visualize your arms, your elbows. Visualize your hands and your fingers. Staying relaxed. See your chest. Noticing how it rises and falls with your breath. Expanding and contracting rib cage. See your stomach.
Now bring your attention to your back and your spine. As you visualize your spine, imagine it, your spine being at the most perfect alignment, the alignment it was designed for. Perhaps when you keep this picture in your head, you notice that you physically lengthen a little more. Notice that curve in your lower back. Notice how when that curve in your lower back comes at your upper back, your chest, and just wants to rise and be tall. Imagine softness and relaxation as you visualize your hips. Visualize your thighs, your knees. Your legs, your toes. Visualize your whole self as a perfect, glowing being. Sitting or lying here in a place of peace, comfort. See yourself wrapped in the essence of harmony. Finding in the sensations of fullness and perfectness in this very moment. Same time drinking in your breath. And then really complete on your next exhale. Feel a slight pause at the end of the exhale. Maybe even place your palm on your belly and feel the core engage slightly. And then inhale and feel the belly expand. And then just lower your right ear to your right shoulder. And let's place our palms face up. Exhale as you bring your chin down to your chest, to your sternum, and just snug the shoulder blades onto the back a little bit more. Inhale and bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Exhale, bringing your chin down to your sternum. Keep snugging the shoulder blades onto the back. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale down. And then we'll inhale and just raise our head back up to center, stacking it beautifully on the top of our spine. Take a nice big inhale, exhale and release. Then let's come forward onto hands and knees. Placing your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips. Lift the tailbone up towards the sky and just feel that natural curve engage in the lower back. Complete your next exhale, feel the core engage slightly. And then as you inhale, curl the tailbone way up towards the sky, hug the shoulders onto the back and lift the chin. As you exhale, flow into your cat position by rounding the spine. Bringing the chin to the sternum, tucking the tailbone. Inhale back up to your cow position by flexing the tailbone up towards the sky, dipping through the stomach, lifting the chin. Exhale, round the spine, bring the chin to the sternum. Then let's inhale and just come back into a child's pose. So trend your bottom towards your heels, stretch your hands out in front of you and lower your head towards the mat. If your head doesn't reach the mat this morning, just stack your fists or rest your head on your palms. And just take a few breaths here, bringing your mind and your heart and your body into one. Just cultivating a sense of wholeness. Complete on your next exhale, feel the core engage slightly. 
And then come back up into all fours on your inhale. Stretch your right arm out in front of you. And then loop it under your left arm, bringing your right shoulder all the way to the mat. Tenting up on your fingers on your left hand and just lightly press into the finger pads and feel a slight twisting of your upper back. You could also tuck the toes under here if you would like to feel a light opening of the backs of the feet. Just breathing here. Exhale completely, feel a slight pause at the end of the exhale. And then inhale, come back up to your all fours, stretch your left arm out in front of you. And then exhale, loop it under your right arm. Tenting up on your finger pads on your right hand and just lightly press into your finger pads. And feel a slight twisting of the upper back. Breathing. Feel the stomach rise and fall. Feel tension being released through the whole back. Completing your next exhale, engage the core. And then inhale, come back up to your all fours position. Exhale and just relax in a neutral spine here. And then take a nice big inhale. And then as you exhale, tuck the toes if they aren't already, lift the knees off the mat, push into the palms, come into a downward dog. Have bent knees to start if you would like. Really push with the palms, push into the toes. Move the shoulders down and back. Relax the head completely. Keep lifting the hips up towards the sky. Stomach and heart are trending towards your upper thighs. Breathe here. Take a nice big inhale when you're ready. And then as you exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. And just coming into a low lunge here. So relax the upper back. Lift that back leg up. Having a straight, straight line from your heel all the way out the crown of your head. Breathing here. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. And then inhale and step your left foot to meet your right. And just come into a very passive forward fold here with bent knees. Let the head hang forward completely. Complete on your next exhale. Engage the core slightly. Inhale, straighten the legs a little bit more as you come to a halfway lift, coming to the tips of your fingers or maybe placing your hands on your shins. Exhale, round forward and step your right leg back into a low lunge, creating that straight line from your heel all the way out the crown of your head, feeling an opening along the right hip, the right leg. Take a nice big inhale, really fill up. Exhale and release. Exhale completely. And then inhale, step your left foot back to meet your right and just coming into a push up position or a high plank. Breathing here for a moment, creating some warmth and stability in the body. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, lower your knees down or lower all the way down to Chaturanga if you would like. And then lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Really snug those shoulder blades onto the back. Coming into a baby cobra, keep the legs strong and press the tops of the feet into the mat. And we're just going to look behind us to the left. So just gaze behind you. See if you can see your left heel or the corner of your eye, feeling a nice opening. Keep rolling the right shoulder down the back, feeling an opening in the shoulder and the upper back. Take a nice big inhale when you're ready. 
And then exhale and release and flow to the other side. Look behind you, see if you can see your right heel. Out of the corner of your eye, keep rolling the left shoulder blade down and back. Breathe in here. Take a nice big inhale when you're ready. And then exhale, flow back to center. And then push with the palms and gently come into your second downward dog. Push with the palms, elongate the whole spine, relax the head, pushing with the feet, pushing with the hands, rooting down in every finger pad. Really fan out the fingers here. Feel the belly button trending towards the spine. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, let's step the right foot in between the hands and always feel free to use your hand to help your foot up if you'd like. And then we'll lower the back knee onto the mat. And then just come up, placing your hands on your right knee and see if you can move the hips back slightly and then roll the left hip flexor forward a little bit to feel a really nice opening. So rather than collapsing down, we're coming up and then pushing the left hip forward, feeling an opening along the left hip flexor here. Breathing, let's inhale and raise our arms over our head. Feeling a nice arc shape from the heel up to the fingers. Breathing here, inhale and exhale. Take your arms out nice and wide and all the way back down to the floor. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. And just relax over your legs for a breath. Relax the head completely, relax the shoulders. Feel tension being released in the neck, the head, the shoulders. Inhale to a bit of a halfway lift. Just lift the heart, the chin. Come to the tops of the fingers. Exhale and release forward. And then we'll step the right foot back behind us. Lower the knee onto the mat. Toes can be tucked or not, doesn't matter. And then we'll just come up to place our palms on our left knee. And then now rather than collapsing forward too much, we're going to pull the buttocks back into a more of a vertical position. And then just push forward lightly into the right hip flexor, feeling a really nice opening there. Feeling free to close your eyes once you make your way into postures and just feel and breathe and send some extra attention to where you need it most. And let's inhale and raise the arms over the head. Extend through the heel all the way out to the tips of the fingers. And Relax the shoulders, relax the pelvis. Take a nice big inhale when you're ready. And exhale, take your arms out nice and wide, bringing your palms back down to the earth. And then stepping the right foot forward into a forward fold. Maybe straightening your legs a little bit more than our first couple times. Inhale to that halfway lift, come to the tips of your fingers. Exhale and fold forward. Then let's inhale and come all the way up. Engage the core slightly as you do. Raise your arms over your head. Place your palms together at the top and then exhale. Bring your palms through your center. Coming into our mountain posture and just feel rooted down into all four corners of the feet. Spending a moment here to relax the shoulders, the neck. Take a nice big inhale, exhale, ground down. 
Inhale your arms up over your head. Come into a slight arch in the back. Slight back bend. Look up. Exhale and swan dive forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Come into the tips of your fingers or maybe placing your palms on your shins. Exhale, fold forward and then step both of your feet back into a high plank position. Exhale, lower your knees down first if you would like or coming into a full chaturanga. Then lower your body all the way down to the mat. Inhale, come either to a baby cobra or if you're feeling more warmed up this morning, feel free to push into your palms and come into an upward dog. And then exhale, tuck the toes, push up into another downward dog. And just breathing here, relaxing here, allowing the head and the neck to let go completely. Trend the hips way up into the sky. Feel the stomach trending towards the upper thighs. Elongate the spine, take a nice big inhale. And then as you exhale, just lower your knees onto the mat and come into another child's pose. Really extend out through the fingers. Keep your elbows off the mat for the benefits of a mid-back stretch. And just let go completely. And then take a nice big inhale as you slowly walk your hands up towards your thighs. Keep the spine rounded forward and then roll up vertebrae by vertebrae and then slowly step the head last on top of the spine. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, roll them down and back. And then just sit off to one side and swing the legs out in front of you. Coming into a staff position, we'll just stretch both legs out in front of us. Placing the palms together in Namaste. Extend out through the crown of the head. Move the shoulder blades down and back. Engage the legs, flex the ankles, curl the toes towards you. And just take a breath here. Really complete your next exhale. Feel a slight engagement of the core. And then interlace your fingers, inhale and raise your arms over your head. Palms to face up towards the sky. And then exhale very gently, no expectation coming forward. Over the legs, let the hands and the arms relax completely and just opening up the whole back body here. And being gentle with yourself, especially with it being the morning, the body is rested, but stiff from inactivity. So just giving yourself a chance to open up naturally. Completing on your next exhale, engage the core, feel the belly button trend towards the spine and then interlace your fingers Turn your palms to face out. Inhale, raise your arms over your head as you come all the way up. Then exhale, take your arms out wide and then place your fingers, your fingertips facing you, hands behind you. Lean into your palms, roll the shoulder blades onto your back, lift the chest and the chin towards the sky. Staying here or if you would like, pushing further and deeper into your palms and lifting your hips off the mat and allowing your head to fall back. Coming into our Utsana Adhuruka Bandha. Take a nice big inhale and exhale, release very gently back down to the mat. Bend your knees to place your feet on the mat in front of you. And then just very slowly make your way all the way down to your spine. All the way down, rolling vertebrae by vertebrae, rocking the pelvis a little bit as you arrive, feeling if there's anything I'd like to naturally adjust this morning. 
Take your arms out nice and wide, palms facing up. Feel that natural curve in the lower spine and then stretch one leg out at a time. Looking straight up with a closed gaze. Spending some moments here, just allowing the benefits of the practice to soak in. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale and relax. Maybe even letting out a sigh. Taking another inhale. <sighs> Scanning the body and just feeling a warm energy pass through your feet, up your legs your hips, your stomach, and all your internal organs. Feeling this warm energy, just relax every part of yourself as it moves up into your chest and your heart, your arms, your neck and your shoulders and your head and just allowing everything to let go. Feeling free to lay here in Shavasana for as long as you would like or that you have time for today. Maybe even continuing with your own practice now that you're warmed up or feeling free to close your practice with us by rolling to one side, taking a nice breath there and then pushing into your palm using as little energy as possible to come to a comfortable seated position. Placing your palms together when you're ready. The divine light in us honors and sees and is so grateful for the divine light in you. Namaste. Namaste. And if you love doing yoga with us, we encourage you to share this video, share the Sunrise Yoga Project with your friends, with your family. Let's change ourselves, our lives, the lives of others, and the world in 25 minutes a day. And we also encourage you to reach out to us. We love to know how you're doing, how the practices are going for you. Feel free to give us a like or a thumbs up as well. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. Happy Monday. Have a fabulous week. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.